Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and I'm back with more Legion Illusions, and last time I did Cataclysm, so today I'm doing Mists of Pandaria, and as always, at the start of the video, I start by showing the free illusions from the Enchanter's Tome, so to start off, we're going to be starting off with Windsong. Now, this one isn't very visible, as you can probably tell, but... I, maybe it'll work with some weapons, maybe not, but nothing special there. Now, the next one is Elemental Force. Now, this is interesting because it splits the weapon in half. You got sort of, imagine, I guess maybe Power Torrent, but imagine it on half the weapon. So you got like red on the hilt, blue at the end. So it's, that's pretty unique. And the last one, this is the one I like. This is Breath of Yulon, and Yulon being the Jade Serpent. So I can imagine this one being very good for maybe the green transmogs or very, uh, you know, at least monks. Like, I can imagine monks will probably use this a lot. So, as always, if you have an enchanter, you want to head to a trainer, and hopefully you can learn the Tome of Illusions Pandaria. And to craft that, you just need some materials from the Mist Expansion. If you don't have an enchanter, these are always available to buy from the auction house, depending on how many are in rotation, though. Now, the next illusion, this is Colossus, and this is like blue thunder, a bit of mongoose. It's very close to mongoose, but I think a bit more blue than green. And this one drops from Moshugan Vault, and it is the very last boss will of the Emperor. It took me several goes to get this, it wasn't, didn't seem to be a very common drop, but it did drop eventually, and this can drop on any setting, so don't worry about doing it on any specific difficulty. Moving on to the next one, we have the Jade Spirit Illusion. Now, we've already done the Jade Serpent, but this is Jade Spirit. Not really sure what the difference is meant to be, but it doesn't look as great as the Breath of Yulon. So, this one I probably wouldn't use. It's just one that I would more just get for the collection purposes. Now, you want to head to the Terrace of Endless Spring, and you want to kill the Shard of Fear, the very last boss. And again, this one took me several goes, dropped eventually, so I'm happy with that. And it's not exactly a hard raid, and you can do this on any settings, so there you go. And lastly, we have another tome, and this one you see here is River Song. Not a Doctor Who reference, but it is another blue illusion. So tired of the blue illusions now that they all, they all look the same. And lastly, we have Dancing Still. It's blue. I, I can't tell the difference between them, but hey, if you want some extra blue illusions, or if you just want to collect some illusions as a collector, this drops from another Enchanter's Tome. Luckily, not as complicated as Cataclysm. This one is called The Secrets of the Shadow Pan, and you just need to hit Revered with the Shadow Pan in Town Long Steps. So, not as hard if you have a bind on account item, this increases your reputation gains if you've already done it on an ult. Or you can, I guess, one method of getting reputation is you can kill the Zandalari War Scouts or Warbringers, but considering they are constantly camped even now, the only other alternative is the recently added Mists of Pandaria Time Walking. You can buy the Shadow Pan reputation badges if you can survive the PvP there. And that's it for this video and the Mist's Illusion. So next will be Draenor. Uh, it's going to take me a bit longer as not a lot of it is soluble. But be sure to subscribe for some more Warcraft guides. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.